to the COD Archive. In this video, we will be showcasing Hydra's greatest plays throughout his professional Call of Duty career thus far. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. We're starting off with Hydra's nasty spree against Seattle Surge during the CDL kickoff Whoa. classic semifinals. Side door, side door, all good. This is good. Oh, let's see how he killed me, chat. Hold on. And you can see where Surge are. A bit of a split spawn from them. Two coming from the left hand side of the map. The hard point semifinals. His nasty spree against the Adderall Surge during the I can't even see how he killed me. Classic semifinals. Side door, covered. Side door, all good. This is good work out of NYSL. Not an easy hard point to pick up time on. And you can see where Surge are. A bit of a split spawn from them. Two coming from the left hand side of the map. Two from the bottom side. Now he kills me. I don't check the corner. I check the other corner. Keeping this one all working out. <coughs> I gotta use my attack right there. Beautiful stuff out of NYSL. <coughs> Let's check out corner. Hydra destroying awakening during the CDL major four qualifier. Kitchen for a long time. Finally, he gets cleaned <coughs> up. That'll be the opening <coughs> for towards A for Boston to finally get on the objective. Wow. That was dirty. Look at him. Look at his face. Look at Paco's face chat. He's like, whoa. Look at him. He's like a little face switch. He's like, he's like wait. That just got shit on. Look at him. Look at him. That was insane, chat. That was insane. Awakening. A few moments later, back into the game, back over towards Hydra's one v two clutch against the LA Thieves. At least get to an arm. LA Thieves. That was dirty. Now this was dirty. Now, this was dirty. Like when you see shit like this, this is like in like look at Krim. Look at Krim. Look at Krim, like bro. That's how you know. Moving on to Hydra's nasty spree against Atlanta Faze during the CDL Championship Weekend Elimination Final. Chow's going to come in though, and Hydra still going to be up now. BG threw on the flank, Hydra threw on the read. Slasher damage in, just toying with his food is Hydra. Absolute beast mode. Five in a row now for the MVP. As second by second, we get closer to the final nail in the coffin. Is the trade is there for skies in 10 seconds left on the hard point. The problem is, have a sub is off the rip. It is New York, hot and heavy. Into the spawns of Optic. Really just trying to get up close and personal in the middle side of the map. They take their time and they quickly claim oh, control of it. You've got Optic kind of spawning on both sides. It is a current two versus two fight inside of the hill, but it's Hydra. Nobody on the objective, and through comes Hydra. Hydra! What a play! One clean, three to four dead. Trades going back and forth and I just still find himself in a position. Wow, this Paris Legion skull was insane. Well. Zaptius, Zaptius, Aqua, Scraps, and Temp. But New York are picking up every single kill. They might be able to do this. It looks like it could be possible. Again, nobody in the point in YSL. Now with That's the crazy. Legion, as the game quickly begins to be tied. Hydra is staying alive inside of green. Finally drops on the six free, but has he bought his teammates enough time? And he will. In YSL, kind of, I guess you could say, limited experience now for this New York team. I'm a comp, I love Timo Paco. Appear to be in the lineup. Like, so if you're looking at Asim, the, the guy who has the longest tenure on this group, three years of experience for him. The rest, what, Mac at two years, Diamond Con and Hydra, it's their rookie season, but they are turning up in the most important game so far. Starting things off well on P1, and but how crazy can it get on Apocalypse? As we mentioned, Subliners doing a great job, but. What, what, what? Probably for the first time in a long time with that SMG up close, and the answer is right on the call. 26 and 14, make it 27 and 14. Now on the flank. Good two. Nearly makes it a four. It's a good three on the good king, measure. too. Diamond Con with the trade, but still enough pressure from Paris Legion onto this point. Hydra's able to pick up three. Where's the cams, chat? There's no cam. I want to see face reaction. That was dirty. Oh, that was dirty. Pushing through that P4. Actually, nah, that, I don't know, bro. That look, that so looks, that looks so, that looks so, bro. Chat. That's the thing, bro. That shit looked good, bro. Look at this. This looks so basic, bro. But it looks dirty, bro. Like he, the way he just like, like you know what I mean, chat? Like, like, bro, just the way he moves. They just didn't win any gunfights, and that's the problem because Clayster was in a great position. I don't know. If he gets that kill on the ball, obviously his team doesn't have to worry about him. They're able to trade that effectively and keep those spawns, but 
at least they did a good job at fighting into that p5 with about 30 35 seconds left so they were able to tie this game up gain some good time off of that p1 and eventually take this lead now it's all about ravens right now with the push they got three players on the attack all pushing into the elbow side of things and hydra Ooh. responds to it goes out to get the pieces finds two as the other attack. players trapped in unfortunately He's attack. hydra well his health is gonna flash a break successful Ravens have eclipsed that 100 point margin. There it is. They're in there. Are attacks not good in this game? Map control to work with the Hydra still driving the dagger, twisting the blade back and forth as he just keeps dealing these death blows to the Ravens. Yeah, I don't see a prediction. I only see the, quick the YouTube video. And he's gonna find another. Not gonna start the play yet. And Hydra with some beautiful shots onto the wing. Arsides. He is taken down. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a PC. I don't even see it. That was dirty. Missing. Arsides. He gets taken down, selling the There's three right there. Yeah, that, was, that was dirty. Yeah, but you know, chat, yo, Ghost is a fucking, he's a good puncher, bro. You get, there's like, there's like some good punchers in the league. When you get in a punch cap with them, and like, you win it. This is a good route. I remember, I remember I stole this from him. The way he played this route was, was good. I remember this. Draza has appeared to go for a quick little rotation over at B, but he's gonna find him. He takes down one, he takes down the other as well. Oh, they just gave that shit to him. I uh, like the idea from them as well. Hydra end up getting the best play, but honestly, I'm surprised he didn't slide there. What the, the B push on offense doesn't end up panning out. You get a tick, which is not too bad. But That's the thing, though. Like, control. you don't have to slide to look clean. Really I don't know. Open up for the sub honors, they were like, you know what, Clayster? See if you can find some fantastic success so far, but he doesn't need to. Because everyone else in his team is doing the good work for him. All he's got to do is pick up that hard point time and keep things going. Hello. And this is just a fishing work right now. Is Hydra. He has the entire team straight in front of him. Gets a couple oh, shots. Oh. Now. Look how much. In New York, somewhat split apart. You've got Hydra on one end, Clay on the other. And you might be aware of Major Phoenix positioning. In fact, Hydra is the pinch. The good gap. And you see put Hydra the D. Thinking somebody has to be inside of that middle building, which will be the case. They'll look to wrap the bomb, rather wrap the bomb, Reza gets dropped, and also they're standing there as well. How about the clutch? That's crazy. Bro, Paco probably loves teaming with Clay, bro. Look at Paco, bro. <laughs> bro, look at Paco, bro. Look at Paco, bro. He's like. <laughs> he never reacts like that with me. That's actually crazy. Yeah. See, chat. It's gonna be so hard for the other guy to win it because he has to strafe into like the gunfight. So you have to like significantly, significantly out react the other person. Like look at this shot. You see, like, watch. He has to. You see how John has to strafe into that shit, and he's just preaming. So Paco's probably gonna win that most of the time. Like, if you have to strafe into a gunfight with a sniper, it's just gonna be. It's gonna be really hard. Oh man, alive! That was an essential kill onto Hydra. As he manages to re-peak and just take care of Jimbo. A huge round win there. Fire right on back. Yeah, that's just good work from Crim6 and Paul likes to hold down that street and allow their teammates to pitch from the front side to eventually take this P3 right on back. But still Toronto are not finally gonna be able to flip those spawns. Look at they're gonna spawn right behind Hydra. And he actually reads this perfectly. He's defined himself on a four spree when they allowed Ultra to break that by getting a clean forward then from the front. Now fully as loud, the Ultra Boys is trying to chain these two hard points together. But now it's a Hydra versus Cami. Hydra's able to come out on top. Spawn's still in the back. Hydra trying to do everything he can. Dirty. Position. He's still alive. It's a good job. Wow, that's it. Wow. Nah, you're actually not killing that. Just the way he moved right there. Like, he like went diagonal. So like, Clemens would have to like turn his stick hella. That's just so hard. Like, look at that shit. He basically made it to where you would literally have to jump and turn like hard as fuck while he's shooting at you. Shit timing is that is good too. He died at the perfect moment. 
Hydra now to go forward. Still, pressure on point. Kismet's got one, a big one. Now Hydra gets involved. He does get the kills. Oh my gentle Jesus, we're on the point. Oh my God, the kills are there. Progress now, second segment gone. There's only two members of MYSL left. They're holding down, they're holding down. Wins one of those gunfights that it seems like he shouldn't. And this is Subliner as well. I was gonna say, maybe trying to pour on that pressure, but now Hydra by himself. I mean, he gets to be the roaming slayer, but you see Slasher incredibly ready for this pressure, <laughs> expecting it from fire, and well, maybe not as ready as he should have been. Hydra's still alive, and all this pressure is still towards A. Yeah, he's looking very good right now. If you can get onto it, if you're New York subline, it's not oh my god, Hydra's in your spawn, and he is having a whale of a time. Go on, go on fire. You want to go on fire, trust. Oh. I said that there. Yeah. Yeah. He's winning that every time. Oh. If he got the fourth, that would have been actually nutty. I look at him, bro. Like, what, bro? Like, every time you, every time you get in this spot here, bro, I'm out on the wall, bro. You wait, and he's the other guy starts like start shooting at you. You lose every time. Like, if I'm smart in the situation, I'm like, damn, I just lost, bro. Like, I'm already knowing I'm about to die. It's like it's so hard unless you move or something. But you basically just got the drop on him. Like, it's impossible. You thought he was gonna reach out, he didn't. Like that's just how you win every time because like it's just it's so hard to win. That's why it's good that he maybe he should have pre-aimed or something or did something didn't reach out and actually start shooting. He might have won a one, but or had a better chance. But every if you do that, bro, like it's just, just chalked every time. That was good. Oh, this is M4 meta. You win this? Honestly, it feels like a little bit of tunnel vision there for Skies. It's like, okay, I should have hit the first shot, then I continue to miss. Oh. He eventually gets found out, but yeah, Hydra Band. Still alive, still thriving. 35 seconds left. And he's got two players that know roughly where he's going to be coming from. Oh, nope. Pops silence, out dead hold silence. On. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Spots out one. And inside is right here. Hydra has got to know something. Dead silence is in here. Rocks out the side. Oh, you <laughs> Hey, that boy had a stun at the end of the round. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Where is this motherfucker? With the second and immediately Hydra with the trade three v one, all left up the pocket. Nah, not having a stun is crazy. I thought she typable. It's like okay, I should have hit the first. That's typable. And our neck, our knee's neck is long as fuck. That shit is actually that shit is his whole like whole face. Motherfucker is no head, all neck. Oh my! But nah, this shit was nutty though. That, right, he had attack. He waited. Stun check. He played it perfect. Honestly. The way he dapped, he dapped everyone up, bro. That's some good. That's some good team ups. The shot. We just letting people defuse nowadays? That's crazy. They just letting that boy defuse nowadays. Gotta watch some other ones too.